Welcome to Christian Fitness. Today's program, nothing but upper body. So go grab dumbbells if you have them, a heavy suit can, water bottle, whatever you need. A little upper body resistance, all upper body today. And we've got a special guest today, a tennis and ping pong champion, David Mayo. Welcome, <laughs> David. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm just loving this. Oh, We're yeah. so happy that you joined us today. Yeah. David also is the station manager for WHBR up in Pensacola, Florida, one of Christian Television Network's affiliates. But um, so right. you might recognize him from up there, some of the things he's done. But we are so happy to have you here today. Oh, it's, it's an honor. I've never been to work in, in a warm-up uh, suit. <laughs> but uh, hey, this is, uh, this is wonderful. Right, well, let's start out by stretching. We're just going to pull an arm across. We want to stretch our first round. If you haven't seen the yeah. show before, first of all, welcome. But we exercise for two minutes, and then we take a one-minute break. So and actually, this is going to be a unique show. It's, we're going to interview David during the show and work out at the same time. So you probably never done an interview and worked out at nope. the same time either. So. No, nope, but I can talk and, and work out though. <laughs> okay, let's same go to the other side. It's not too intense. Well, but, let's talk about David Mayo. Tell us a little bit behind the man. Well, born and raised in the Pensacola, Florida area. Loved sports growing up. Very active as a teenager. And, um, you know, just wasn't anything I wouldn't try. And one of our <laughs> things that we loved to do was whitewater rafting. And as a family, one in 1978, as a 16 year old boy, I was in Idaho on a five-day trip, got up on these rocks, not afraid of heights, fell 40 feet, smashed my back in half, mm -hmm. literally. And um, uh, yeah, and so here I was, you know, uh, severed spinal cord, you know, paraplegic, didn't thought life was over. And, um, you know, I turned to the Lord though, you know, just thankfully, and I went after him, and he just filled me with such joy and peace and, and strength like I've never known before. I was growing spiritually like a rocket, uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and I found that my competitive juices were also all there. Nothing had ever, you know, I had, uh, had gone away, and so I just began to be very active and in, in, uh, in all kinds of sports, you know, afterward. Excellent. You know, but now I was, you know, wasn't fulfilled with sports. You know, the Lord was my, you know, contentment and right. all my fulfillment, and. Um, but yet, and still, you know, love competitive uh, activity. And now I'm just, you know, do all kinds of road racing, tennis, you know, table tennis, basketball. It just, it's, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, a lot of fun. All right, well, you brought some footage with you. Why don't we take a look at that footage and see some of the action oh. that David's a part of. Okay, roll it. and a couple of buddies. That's awesome. And, uh, oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. All right, this, this is round number two. We're going to do okay. a twist. So let's okay. just hold the weights up with your arms curved a little bit. And you're just going to rotate side to side, nice and slow and controlled. Okay? And if you have two weights like I do, it gets kind of cumbersome. You can't really hold them, you know, both together. So you can drop one and just hold one weight, like David's right. got one weight. Lori's got two little tiny ones, so she can handle two of them. But whatever you're comfortable with. You know, normally we have a beginner, an intermediate, and an advanced. Today's program, we're all doing the same exercise. It's just how much weight you want to use. Yeah, this is a good stretch in the core, for sure. Absolutely. And that's what we want to do. We want to make sure we get stretched. Uh, a little later in the show, we're going to get into <laughs> a little more difficult exercises. But, yeah, this one, you know, you hold it up long enough, it's really going to build up the shoulders. It's going to work the obliques, work the stomach a little bit, and stretch you out. Yeah. And if you get tired in the middle of this, just put your arms down and rest for a minute. It's not about being competitive with somebody else. You work on your own pace, your own comfort, just 
move and do something. Yeah. Oh, this feels good. For sure. Good. Yeah. Well, David, you can tell that you managed a television station because that, that footage you brought in was great. The editing, the music, everything was just awesome. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was fantastic. That was fun. That was fun because we do a show up there. And a lot of it is on location outdoors, and we do a lot of those things. And you know, it's just great to show that Christianity is not confined to some walls of a church or, or a studio. You know, you know, life is outside, and, uh, and that's just where the gospel really excels. Anyway, is outside. So, mm -hmm. so we just have a lot, a lot of fun, and you know, just experience that abundant life that Christ gives us. You know, for sure. That's skydiving, though. I don't know. Yeah, that was. <laughs> woo, that was that, that was a little over the edge, even for me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it's called Christian Fitness for a reason because we get into the Word of God. And today's scripture. It's, uh, it's perfect for this program. Lori, what scripture did you choose yeah. for today? I always ask the Lord about a scripture, and this is what He said to use today, and it was Romans 8:37. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. I love that scripture because, and I encourage people, get into your Bible and read the scriptures before that, the verses before that, because it really means that no matter what we go through, that we will be a conqueror through Him, through Jesus who loved us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We really, yeah, we really encourage you, get in your Bible as we're doing this workout, read the scripture before yes. it, read it after it, and focus on that, and, mm -hmm. and just get into the Word while you're working out. We give you that one minute break for a reason, to catch your breath, first of all, right. <laughs> but to get into the Word also. Yeah. All right, this round, two okay. more minutes. We're okay. just going to take a single weight and reach across the outside of the knee, and then reach across the other outside. Good. And if you have a lot of weights like we do, you'll notice we've got them laying all over the floor today. You can pick up a heavier weight for this one, a lighter weight, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay. So if you need more weight or less weight, let me know and we'll switch up. And if you're doing this at home, as we said, you can use a you know giant soup can, a big family size soup can or a bottle of water and fill it up more each week. Or just go and buy some inexpensive dumbbells. I mean, you can get, you know, the yeah. smaller only cost a couple dollars. So we, we got a lot of shows that we do upper body and use a lot of resistance training. So we recommend, you know, go out and just get some cheap dumbbells. They'll really come in handy. This is a good one. I'm, I've never done this particular one, Robert. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's good to really work the obliques. There's, there's, for the stomach, if you can do a little bit of twist, it right. really helps the obliques. A lot of people think, you know, if I do side bends, side bends don't work the obliques as much. Well, we try not to get too technical on the show. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Rob We're, does at home. He starts rattling off a lot of technical yeah. terms. I'm like, okay. Yeah, we want to keep <laughs> it sure fun and just use layman's yeah. terms. We often come up with goofy names for exercises. Um, yeah. So we don't profile each muscle group and, and how to work. We just want to have fun. We just want to encourage people to yeah. get off the couch, do something. Yeah. And with me, because uh, my injury level is, is up high around the, the lower chest, mm -hmm. so I don't have really ab strength and, and control and balance, but yet and still, from the chair, you can still do these. Excellent. You know, which is, which is great for anyone yeah. who may, you know, be in a chair. So it still works. And... Um, even without balance, so to speak. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, so you just use that other arm to balance as you exactly. reach across? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it still good. gives me the stretch. Yeah. And so. it's a little bit of strength with the resistance. You are building up some strength. But yeah, yeah flexibility is one of the keys to anything. So get this good stretch. All, All right. right. Join us in the kitchen for a tip on spinach. All right. Our nutrition tip today is a simple one. It's straight from the words of Popeye, eat more spinach. Instead of squeezing a can like he used to do, try and eat fresh spinach if possible. If you have to eat frozen, that's okay, but remember our saying, fresh is best. One cup of spinach has 56% of your daily recommended vitamin A. It's low in cholesterol, and it's high in zinc, potassium, dietary fiber, protein, and it's high in vitamin C, K, and E. It's rich in antioxidants and a great source of iron and completely fat-free. Have fun with how versatile you can be with spinach. You can use the leaves as a base for your salad, or you can put them on a sandwich. Blanch, saute, or steam them. Use the leaves as a bed for your pasta or your fish. You know, try some of your own ideas and email us, or you can post them on our website. And as Popeye used to say, I love to eat spinach. That's not what he said. He said, I loves to eat me spinach. That's just, that's not me. Oh, but that's what he used to say. I know. Oh, oh well. I'm not All Popeye. Right. <laughs> yeah, spinach. I tried to get Lori to do a Popeye imitation. She wouldn't have any fun. <laughs> oh, come on, Lori. <laughs> All right, next round. We're just going to call it a simple press, almost like a bench press. Just bring your weights up, press them straight out, pull them back, and then if you need to rest, you can bring them down. Just bring them up, press them straight out, back, 
and down. Good, and it's two minutes, yeah. so you're going to start to feel it. For intermediates or advanced, if you don't have enough weight, you know, you can do two or three. Just pump two or three, and then put them down. Or you can switch to heavier weights or lighter weights, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. After oh, about a minute and a half, you might end up putting them down. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Very good. That's what we encourage people, David, this two-minute workout. You know, really, it's going to build a lean muscle tissue. You know, we're not going to build any bulk in this show. <laughs> not when you work yeah. out for two minutes. You know, it's not like you're doing no, a set of a maximum rep for you know, eight or ten. This is uh, Plus two it helps, minutes. It helps build up that endurance strength, which is what, frankly, I'm, I prefer anyway. You know, is the, is the endurance muscles, but with high uh, repetition, lower weight. Well, yeah, as athletic so, as you are, that biking. Oh my yeah. goodness. Because we'll go on bike trips for the last, you know, easy two or three hours. Wow. You know, so that's a, that's a serious cardio workout and major calorie burn. So this kind of endurance training that we're doing here with, with these weights mm -hmm. is, is perfect. Good, so uh, good, good. I like to be a, a frequent guest. <laughs> Make it a regular. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, we've been talking off camera about maybe doing a bike show up in Pensacola. Come on. That Come would on. be fun. Well, well we oh, found we'll out you rode bike. You rode a bike um, at one of the telethons, and yes. we saw those pictures, and that yes. was just oh my goodness. Well, yeah, then we yeah. started talking to David Martin, one yeah. of the directors here. Yeah. And, yeah. Hey, we, and we, Preston we Jarvis we yeah. literally fell out. <laughs> oh. And, and, and his buddy David, so it was a real, little, little embarrassing, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Wait, now it's, Preston's been going to the gym, so yeah. I don't know yeah, what he's doing. Right. Yeah. He's in good shape now, so that might not happen anymore. <laughs> All right, well, this is okay. another fitness fact, so we're going to talk to Dave a little bit more about him since he's our guest. Right. Tell us your testimony. You said that the Lord really worked on your heart. Here yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was uh, made a decision for the Lord uh, when I was eight years old. It was genuine, no doubt. But it was just, it was all about me, it seemed like, even afterward, growing up uh, in those teenage years. There's no real vitality, uh, no life to that relationship at all. And uh, But after the accident, you know, when I just made a serious uh, commitment to go after him and get his word down in me like never before and started trying to apply the word, being a doer of the word, not just a hearer, that really just made all the difference. That's when that explosion of life really happened on the inside. And, um, you know, and then I just went on to, uh, uh, to college, you know, even, you know, and this chair didn't stop me and got a degree in broadcasting. The Lord opened the door for Christian television in the Pensacola Mobile area. And uh, 23 years ago, wow. I, I started with Thank CTN God. in Pensacola. Yeah. Well, let's keep talking about it. We're yeah. going to do a row this round. So let's okay. just reverse what we did. So you can just rest them on your All thighs, right. bring them up, Boom. and pull them back. Just yeah. like you're rowing a boat. Find a simple rowing motion. Really Love it. The back. Put the backs and the shoulders a little bit more than the other. Just the simple press that we did. Right. The oh, broadcasting degree, huh? Oh. And fell yeah. on the Christian television. That's right. Yeah, it was amazing. 1986. Oh, my goodness. When that happened. The accident was in 78. It's hard to believe. Hmm. Yeah, hard to believe. But, uh... Yeah, then yeah, I just celebrated 15 years with a uh, wedding anniversary of a beautiful oh, wife of Beverly. Oh. And so, yeah, and she's uh, she helps keep me in shape too because she's uh, she's very uh, on the go and fit. Wait, she yeah. keeps up with you after seeing yeah. that video. I, <laughs> think, <laughs> I, I keep up with her. Uh -oh. too. But yeah, we uh, we have a lot of fun. There's a lot of similarities in there for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that is such an inspiration. That video, I, I've seen it several times. Now. Yeah. Every time I see it, I see something new in it. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about the sailing yeah. until I saw it again well, you today. Know, yeah, well, you know, it's not, um, you know, anything, it's not different from being in a chair. I mean, it's the same competitive uh, drive, the same, you know, desires as before. I just do it, everything from a different position. Right. You know, that's all. It's all the same. And um, so, you know, I say, you know, if you were active before an accident or an injury of any kind, there's no reason why you can't be active afterwards. You just adapt. Yeah, adapt to improvise and overcome. There you go. <laughs> and you know where all your yeah. courage and all your strength comes from. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh, which reminds me yeah. of a scripture that maybe we'll talk about again in a little while. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get back into that scripture in a minute. Yeah, this is a good, good exercise. It's starting to burn, though, isn't it, after it two is. minutes? It is. <laughs> yeah, I'm sweating a little bit. Am I supposed to sweat at work? <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that's a good one.
All right, we That's encourage you to one. go to our website, ChristianFitnessTV.com, and there's a little link down there to send us your emails and your feedback, and we always share a feedback in each program. Lori, what's today? I think it's a little special one. It is. It's from Kim, and she said, Hi, my mom and I have been following along with your exercises for about the past week and we really enjoy doing them. However, I'm wheelchair bound. I was wondering if you could do a show with exercises from a sitting down position. Thank you and God bless Kim and Raleigh. We saved this and we've gotten so many emails. We just got one the other day requesting a show just like this and then that's why we asked yeah. you to join wow. us. That's perfect. So yeah, yeah. isn't perfect. that a blessing? So Kim, thank you for that yes. email. And uh, here we are. There you yeah. go. Yeah. So here we are doing it. Yeah. Yes. And then we hope we can fulfill that for you. But yeah, yeah, this should be such an inspiration. And for anyone, you know, we always tell people get off the couch and work out with us today. Stay on the couch, but work out with us. And we know yeah. a little or, boy. Or in your chair. Yeah. And sure. your chair. Good. Let's do tricep extensions. So you're just okay. gonna hold your. So I'm gonna take that ten pounds. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, wait, Dave's gonna step it up. He's gonna go <laughs> black ten yeah. So you wanna hold it behind your neck and just extend. Keep your elbows tight to your head. Don't let your elbows go way out here. That's a whole different exercise. We wanna right. keep the elbows tight to the head and just extend. I like to call it hammering the ceiling. It's almost like you're right. you know, look up, you're hammering some drywall yeah. on the ceiling or whatever. We actually know a little boy in Tennessee that when we get this done. We want to send him the show because Absolutely. this you are going to be such a testimony to him oh. and an inspiration to him to be, be courageous and keep moving forward. Yeah, he had no. an accident and it's yeah. pretty tough on him. Yeah. Sure, sure it is. Yeah, we can't yeah. wait to share this, share this show with yeah. him. Yep. It's just uh, amazing what a little you know, ounce of determination uh, and mm -hmm. desire can do, because uh, it'll <laughs> it'll get you over uh, obstacles that you just can't even imagine. Well, tell you us know? more about the tennis. Yeah. Did you host yeah, the yeah. See, all kinds of different See, that's another thing. I played tennis, you know, before my accident. I just thought there was no way I could play again. <laughs> my wife took the sport up and uh, encouraged me to get out there and hit with her. And I thought, are you crazy? There's no <laughs> way I can, I can cover a whole court in a chair. But uh, sure enough, I got up with a I got up with a coach, and he got me out there, and I just immediately took to the game, mm -hmm. and uh, loved it, and went around the country playing in tournaments wow. after a, a year or so. And um, now we uh, host the, one of the largest wheelchair tennis tournaments in the country in Pensacola. Oh, Pensacola right. Open. As a matter of fact, this shirt is a, one of our tournament <laughs> shirts uh, from that monster tennis tournament. So that is so much fun, too. Yeah, and I love getting out and trying to beat my wife, but <laughs> it's, uh, it, that doesn't happen very often. She's pretty good. I'll, I'll have to admit, yeah. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Yeah. Woo, that was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two minutes. Really, two I minutes. Even, even with no weight, two minutes is going to get to you. Yeah. All right. Scripture. We talked about Romans earlier. Lori, we're going to talk about that again. Yes, we are. Yeah. Romans eight thirty seven. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who. Absolutely. David, yeah, that's such a. Uh, that's great. You know, I, that's one of my favorites too. You know, because when you think about giving up, and you know, those are. And it just doesn't happen in you know sports and recreation and life in general, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, if you have that word on the inside of you that we are truly more than conquerors, not just conquerors, but more than conquerors uh, through Him. That's of course a very big key. And then the other key is the lastly through Him who loved us, knowing that love that's been poured out on the inside of us is such a, a strength and uh, enabling uh, force inside of us that will uh, get us over the top and uh, to conquer any mountain in our life. Amen. Yeah, exactly. Amen. I like you said, more than conquerors. Not yeah. conquerors, but more than conquerors. Yeah. That's so powerful. Okay, okay. flies are next. Okay. You're probably going to need something yeah. else, right? When you want to yeah, go back to this. Okay, these right here. Okay, so just hold the weights out in front of you, maybe about chin level. You're just going to open up. Just open up your chest. Keep your okay. arms at about a 90 degree angle and bring them back together. David and I are going to have to try to coordinate yeah. so that we don't <laughs> slam into okay. each other. That's good. We got it. Yeah, but just nice, simple flies. Just open it up and keep your arms bent. Nice. Now, you're trying to angling down at maybe a 45 degree angle. You know, you're not going straight parallel to the ground or perpendicular, kind of in between. You just open up the chest. Make sure you keep your shoulders back. Yeah. That's yeah, good. We've got rhythm going now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. Another good one. Good chest exercise. Yeah. Yeah, and this will really help you. You know, with just everyday life, everyday life activities, building this upper body strength, using the resistance, okay? 
Use as much resistance as you can comfortably for the two minutes. But it's going to help you with everyday life no matter what you have to do. That's right. Well, we found, because so many people talk to us about different injuries they have, and a lot of people as they get older, they don't work out their upper body, and their shoulder blades lock up, their shoulders lock up, and they lose strength in their arms and their hands. And these exercises, all of them are good for that because you don't want to lose that mobility in, their sh in your shoulders and in your shoulder blades. And yeah. a good test for that is try to raise your hands and your arms over your head and behind you like those stretches you did. Then you'll see if you've got that mobility. Yeah. Yeah, almost always, good. yeah, almost all these exercises, they're going to stretch at the same time, right. not just strength building. You're also yeah. doing a lot of stretching. And stretch after the show. You know, we don't have time for yes. a 30-minute show. We don't have time to do everything, so stretch after the show is over. Yeah. Make sure you keep everything nice and loose. Okay, that's great. Yeah, I'm glad she sang. Oh, that's why we had that voice she sings. <laughs> yeah, 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 you need that after It's just amazing. <laughs> little three-pound weights, you know, I mean, it's just amazing what a little resistance and how effective it can be. And that's why we say yeah. soup can, water bottle, whatever. You don't need, yeah. you know, we don't right. need to grab big, huge 40 pound dumbbells, which you couldn't yeah. do in a few minutes anyway, at least I couldn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whatever I you know can. I couldn't. All right, yeah. Dave, let's get back to thinking about that footage. The ping pong. Tell us a little bit yeah. about the ping pong. How'd that come about? That's just, oh, again, I, I loved it as a boy. And, uh, and I found that was one of the earlier sports that I did quickly after my accident, was able to get back on a, uh, of course, serious players call it table tennis. Oh, yeah, we're the, right. Uh, yeah, that's sorry. true. Yeah, that's right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, just playing in my garage, had a table, and I'd have friends over, and boy, I could just right back to that game. And, uh, and I was beating all my uh, all my buddies, and of course that really humiliates them, and you know, and they get beat by a guy in a, in a wheelchair. Um, and then I started going to a, the serious club that meets uh, in, a, in a, a gym, mm -hmm. and so. Um, so anyway, so it's a great sport. We'll I'll do love curls. It. Oh, you're gonna want more for curls, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. yeah, I'll take those tens again. Oh, okay. Now you're gonna. And I want the fives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sorry. gonna get the exercise by the time I. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Give everything up. All right, just simple. Keep them close to your body. And if the chair gets in the way, you see David's gonna go outside a little bit. I'm gonna lean forward so I can do it in front of the chair. Just nice, simple bicep curls, nice and slow and controlled. Yeah. And if you don't have weights like we do, all you know to be able to switch and. <laughs> Everybody's grabbing a different color, different size. <laughs> if you need more weight, you know, you can let it go out to your fingertips, yep. which increases the distance between, you know, what would be your elbow and the actual weight resistance itself. Right. Uh, I'll get into the technical terms. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please don't. <laughs> yeah. Make it a little bit heavier if you go out further. But nice, slow, and controlled. Yes. Excellent bicep. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. you can even go slower and shorter. Yeah, there's no trick. That's probably even, Lori's got a secret there because that's really the most effective. Yes. Well, it's slow and controlled. And another thing is don't extend all the way. If you really want a great workout, don't come all the way so that your arm is extended. Stop it a little bit short and don't come all the way up either. Right. Yeah. So you're actually just going from, you know, maybe a little 40 degree right. flexion. Sorry. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Like yeah. No, I don't mind it. It's just uh, we don't want to get too technical on this show for everybody. We yeah. want you to have fun. Yeah, it's about having yeah. fun. Yeah. And get, you know, get some friends to come over and work out. That's why we had David go over today. Just, we need yeah. somebody to work out with us today. We wanted to have some fun. So invite some friends yeah. over, pop this show in, throw the DVD in, record it. You guys just have a good time sitting on the chair or the couch or whatever, working out. And you feel so much better even afterward. I have a sense of accomplishment. Yeah. Not to mention all the practical, you know, benefits of Healthy. exercise, yes. but the mental and emotional aspects of it, mm -hmm. you know, are just huge beyond just the physical. You know, oh, get those. Right, she's saying, all right. All right, we encourage yeah. you to go to our okay. website, ChristianFitnessTV.com. We've got a lot of great things on there. You can get to our Twitter on there, Facebook, MySpace, all the right. <laughs> all the other ways to communicate with us. We also want you to get in touch with David, um, especially, you know, maybe the boy in Tennessee or Kim from our email. That's Kim right. might want to contact you yeah. and talk to David a little bit. So, uh, David, how can they get in touch with you? What's the best well, way? Well, I would say our website uh, at WHBR, which is the TV, the CTN station in the Pensacola Mobile, Fort Walton area. It's uh, www.whbr.com. Excellent. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. It's, you don't mind if they contact you? You know what? I'm going to need to correct that. It's whhbr.org. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, right. we have it. We have yeah. it. We have the right graphic yeah. up. Even if we have the right graphic up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. So they can contact you. Yeah, our email and phone number is all there. 
So, so yeah, perfect. Yeah. Love to talk to anybody, help them with any kind of recreational or, you know, sporting thing they may want to try to attempt, they help them through. And um, so, yeah, it'd be, it'd be great. Well, I might contact you about that airboat. I've never been on an airboat. I'm going to try to tie that up. <laughs> okay. Last round, dips. Dips. So if you have arms on your chair or David's going to use yeah, wheels. Yeah, you can just use wheels. Yeah, you just want to press up. It's just a matter of And then of back press. down. And Lori may not go as high as a beginner. You just go okay. up and down as much as you can, nice and relaxed. Now, if you're using okay. nice chairs at home, don't push out. Right. <laughs> you don't want to break the arms yeah. off your chair. You just want to push straight down and up. And for advance, you can yeah. come up and hold it for a second or two, and then come back yeah. down, whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with. But work hard for this whole two minutes. Yeah. And don't give up. You can do this. This is the last exercise yeah. of this yeah. show. This is a good one. Another good tricep, too. Yeah, totally for great sure. Upper body. We're doing a lot, a lot of, a lot of twisting, a lot of rotation. Yeah. A lot of strength building. Plus, this is good for circulation too, big time. You know, just get the uh, heart going, get the blood pumping. It's tremendous for circulation. Exercising. So that's a, another huge benefit. And for those in chairs, this is good for transition, helping with their transition in and oh, out. Oh, absolutely. Get in and out of the bed, into the shower. You know, the car. Yeah, definitely. That's yeah, massive benefit. And this works a lot of muscle, different muscle groups. That's why we saved this one for last. <laughs> Otherwise, we might be huffing yeah. and puffing during the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very impressive what you're doing there, Robert. That's good. Holding it up there. <laughs> well, you see, I'm using, me, I've got this pillow. one of those uh, gymnasts. <laughs> you know, Olympic gymnasts. You're going to do the you want me to iron off? crawls <laughs> or something. Don't break yeah. the chair, please. Yeah. <laughs> See, I didn't tell you I've got springs in this pillow. Yeah. <laughs> Help me bounce up. Uh, I've got springs in the pillow. <laughs> uh, oh, this is great. I love it. And a lot of fun. All right, well, thank you so much for yeah. joining us, David. Oh, gosh. And you know what? There might be somebody out there that either doesn't know the Lord or might have fallen away from the Lord. Yeah. Why don't you talk to them? Yeah, you know, it's just, and, and two, uh, some people just go through um, you know, life just assuming they're a Christian because they grew up in a Christian home, right, that's right. you know, and or, you know, maybe baptize as an infant and think that everything's good, but never have you made a decision, you know, for the Lord Jesus. And, uh, you know, it's not too late. And that's all that we're asking you to consider that decision for the Lord. Say yes to him to invite him into your life. And that is the way and the truth and the life and how to receive him into your life is to make that conscious decision to receive him into your heart. Do it today. Amen. Just ask him. Just ask yeah. him into your heart. Amen. Yeah. You know, we always close our program with 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. Thank you so much for joining us, and God bless you. Amen. We love you, God. Yeah. Oh, that's so much good.